this is a topic that I wanted to touch on. When you go somewhere and you just happen to be getting going into a place and you see somebody and their pants is hanging off their butt, right? And mm. the whole entire butt is out. And you say, you don't feel that, bro? You don't feel that. I mean, literally, like, dudes hold behind me, so, bro. He had no draws on. Like, I'm like, oh, man. Bro, you don't feel that air on your behind. He bending yeah. over, like, mooning the yeah, he world. Was, he, was, he, was, he was advertising. Dude. <laughs> his girl was with him, and his girl didn't say uh, yeah. nothing. You know, he just, just like, like he's like, like it ain't even showing. Just bending all over, like, yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Like, when I was younger, I just I thought I thought that was a fashion trend, but it it was a trend that never went away. It never, and then it just got worse. And then it started, you know, what I'm saying, um, kind of uh, going past cultural barriers. You know, then you got. You know what I'm saying? You got to get white guys sagging and all that and all, and all that. So it's like, really? Like, this was a, you know, just a part of wearing clothes, but I don't, you know, I, it's unbecoming, true indeed, you know what I'm saying? But it just doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, you know? And I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, you know? Hey, I'm going to tell you from experience, uh, uh, I used to do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I used to wear the pants sagging, and then mm -hmm. some stuff happened, and after that, I never did it again. I was hanging out with some friends and they started running. So I started running and <laughs> you can't run with your pants down. Hanging off, you know, I'm serious. Oh, Lord. So let's just say, let's yeah. just say I got caught. I got <laughs> caught and, and uh, was detained in question. And they asked me why the people, well, they running. And I, I they said, why were y'all running? And I said, because they started running. And, uh, and I mean, uh, and that so actually makes sense. Then, <laughs> yeah, but ever since then, I, I don't sag mm -hmm. nothing. If, I, if my pants would have been right, I would have been straight. I was the only one that got caught. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Learn, no experience. <laughs> yeah, but we, we wasn't, we, we, but we wasn't even doing anything. They just yeah. seen them, so they just started running. So I started running because they started running. When that yeah, like the now media with, said that. Not, not with your pants sagging, brother. I'm telling you. There's no way. <laughs> I, 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 didn't have a, I didn't have a chance. I didn't have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk about that. We started running. We all started running. That's that's common in the black neighborhoods. We st you oh, see yeah, somebody running. Yeah, running. for sure. We for sure. running for? We running and you do for? not need an explanation. They running, so I'm running. That's enough. That's enough. Hey, you hear gunshots. So hey, you hear gunshots. I ain't looking for where they came from. I'm trying to exactly. get away. I'm trying to get away from the situation. Yeah, no exactly. thank you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so, but that is, and then then sometimes you see like I don't know when I see brothers my age sagging, I'm kind of like, come on, man. You know, I mean, I'm 45 years old. I'm like, come on. Then I'm like, I see him with the kid with him. I'm like, who is he supposed to look up to if dad's sagging? You know, what's come on? You know, I mean, you know, at some point we got to be adults, you know, for our children. You know, so yeah, that's like me though. I'm still that. No, I'm not. But uh, mentally, I still feel like. I still feel like I'm that young man. Like, I don't know for some yeah. reason. Like, I ain't sagging my pants. Like I said, I, I should be going to bed at no eight, nine o'clock. Or I don't, I ain't saying I'm out, I'm not saying I'm out at the club partying and nothing like that. But I see a lot of people's parents Ooh. around my age, they be in bed by eight, nine o'clock. They got certain, they do certain things that older people do. I, I'm not that dude. Yeah. No? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. I mm. But I, yeah. that was the question I had. You know, have you ever? Going without wearing, uh, well, men we don't wear bras. I hope not. Going without <laughs> wearing a bra or underwear, right. and nah, oh, nah, nah, bro, nah, 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 I nah, nah, nah. Hey, you say you ain't free balling? <laughs> nah, <laughs> exactly. None of that. None of that. No, thank you. <laughs> nah. Of that. Even though you know the young dudes, exactly. they do, they do do. I ain't the one, son. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know if any young dudes do it or not. No, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure there are some who do, and I think that's nasty. Yeah, I'm but like, I don't yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah, real, bro. You know? For real, bro. That would have, have to be uncomfortable. That have to be uncomfortable. <laughs> right. I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So, when, but I can believe there's some doing it. Wasn't sagging supposed to be for like a, for the gangsters and stuff like that, so they could slide it? Yeah, that's what that's what originally. It had, 
it, that's what uh how it started back in the day. Yeah. A lot of little young, yeah. I didn't say gangsters, but a lot of little thugs, mm-hmm. you know, started doing it. The Timberland boots, the stagging pants, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The puffy jackets. Yeah. Yeah, that started back mm-hmm. in the day. So mm-hmm. it's like that. Saw, saw it, it is a, in between the uh the, the big pants, supposedly. And it was supposed to be tight around the waist and loose yeah. around mm-hmm. the legs. So they could pull the gun from up under the legs, you know, but they mm-hmm. took it to a whole nother level with, uh, nah, it ain't supposed to hang off your butt, man. You know? Yeah. Man, uh, but And these kids, question. they sagging uh, in skinny jeans. That blows me away. How are you sagging in skinny <laughs> jeans? That is re- I, what I mean, that's like now that's like the five <laughs> science or something. You in skinny jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I, this younger generation now they like they into like a whole bunch of name brand stuff, so they feel like if they pay five hundred dollars for some Versace underwear, or they yes. pay three hundred dollars for some <coughs> whatever underwear, they want yes. you to see what's around their waist. So that's why they mm-hmm. sag their pants. They want to let you know, you know what they what they what they got on. Who they you know? You're right. You're right. So yeah, that's this younger wow. generation now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. I do want to know. I do want to know for the women though. Do you go around without a bra? Is that you know? Oh, it's a lot of women that go around without a bra and underwear. Trust me. Sometimes that no, ain't look, a good I, thing. Nah, well, look, but it's true though. Um, real talk. Like real. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm on uh, TikTok a lot, and there's people on there um, who are talking about how a bra is oppressive, and then they were talking about how a bra uh, cuts off circulation, and then they were talking about people sexualizing breasts. You know, and that. Mm. Why you know women can't go topless because you know it is legal for women to go topless, but they don't because of that. And I'm like, well, come on, man. We still talking about a woman's breast. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what they do that? What they do that at? Are you not- <laughs> what they do that at? What they do that at? What they go topless at? <laughs> and see that, and you know that's just my point. You know what I'm saying? I see this stuff, and I'm like, come on, man. Look. We talking about brawls here, right? And I mean, first of all, you know, we talking about over the shoulder boulder holders. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Big deal. right, you know what I'm saying? This is this is you know, so if a woman wants to, she feels comfortable, cool, she can wear them. If she don't, so what? I've known women who did, I know women who didn't. It's up to the woman, you know. Yeah. So, come on, yeah, but I yeah, there are people talking about that. <laughs> yeah, some women think it's disrespectful, They're like, oh, she ain't got no bra on, and we like, I ain't even okay, um, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, how, yeah. how would you yeah. know if a woman didn't? How how would you know if a woman didn't have underwear on? You would never know. Yeah, most women don't wear under underpants. Yeah, though. I mean, you, you would never know though if they did yeah. or they didn't. They don't sag their pants. I mean, yeah. yeah, unless you unless yeah. you're looking for the panty line, you never know. So and yeah, thongs don't show panty lines. I guess most. There of you the go. Time. There you wow. go. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my have you ever met a celebrity like a real life celebrity i'm not like talking like you know somebody around here that you know got a little recognition around the hood i'm talking about like like a star like big purse like i'm in uh, i'm in a cedric the entertainer oh word That's yeah, it was up. a long long yeah, it was a long long time ago I was like maybe uh, kind of like out of high school, 19, 20 or something, maybe 21 because I was in the club and it was VIP. It was a club that was downtown. It's probably been closed for years. And uh, he, was in, yeah, he was in VIP. I seen him standing by the wall. I walked over to him. I said, hey, what's up? I said, you know, I like your stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Shake my hand. And I left. It was cool. You know, I met him. Look, I met um, who else did I meet? I met um, Pastor Troy. Yeah. In Atlanta. Pastor Troy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, let me tell you. Okay, so I was at a at a hotel and I was there at a, a training with this agency I worked with. And these people, this this uh guy comes over and obviously he was from Atlanta. He's like, Man, that's Pastor Troy over there. I said, I looked over there, I said, That guy does look like Pastor Troy, but that can't be him. And his girlfriend was like, No, that's Pastor Troy. He was like, I'm telling, look. So I'm looking, I'm like, is that Pastor Troy? And then like some college kids started surrounding them. I said, Oh, that's Pastor Troy. So you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? By the time I get my way over there, he was hot. He was getting ready to go back to his room. So he walks back over to the elevator, he jumped on the elevator. So I ran over to the elevator and I and the door was closed. I put my hand in it and it opened up. And I said, Hey man, Pastor Troy, I love your stuff, man. You dope. I dapped I mean, he dapped me up strong and said, Thanks. 
hit me with the piece, hit the button, and went to the penthouse suite. <laughs> but he was real okay. cool, man. That was yeah. real cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. the only person I met was Danny Glover, man. I met him at the airport one time. I was like, why is That's Danny cool. Glover in Ohio? Cool right. dude. Cool dude. He nah, had, he... I ain't never met nobody. I ain't never met nobody <laughs> famous, but uh, I see how people. I see how people react toward famous people. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you could be like, if you know. could be somebody, like, who would it be though? Like, you'd be like, yo, man, I wouldn't mind meeting him. You know what I mean? No, mm. it's a lot of people I wouldn't mind meeting, but I don't think I could go. I would go crazy like some people do. Like. I went to some concerts and people was passing out over just seeing people. Like I'm like, nah, bro. Why? Why? You done missed the whole concert now. You, you know you, that little hundred fifty dollars is gone. Yeah, nah. That but, is a uh, bit much. Yeah, it's quite a few. That's a bit much. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite a few people I want to meet, but uh, I don't think I would go as crazy. If I seen them, I don't even know if I would approach them. I'd be like, damn, that's such and such, and and keep it pushing. You know, I don't know. Like, yeah. like you met Michael Jackson, you start crying. Like, oh my yeah, God. you see that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they was carrying. I, I ain't gonna lie. Pushing people up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, Michael Jackson. Jackson. No. If I could have met Mike, I might would have shed. I used to be a huge Michael Jackson fan. I love Michael Jackson. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I, 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 I still am. I, I still still am. am. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I used to say here. I love Michael Jackson, so I'm not gonna lie. Now that now that's one person I really would have been like, you know, just. You know, probably been front. I probably wouldn't even be able to say nothing. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Mike. He's definitely mm. missed, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment. Leave likes and so much more. Holler at us.